your peace. Let the Lord fight for you, for you. Music on here. Oh, my radio station. Every time I touch this thing, it goes. Hello, Matthew, Timothy. Boy, you got two biblical names put together. <laughs> Regular names, but biblical names. I'm just trying to set my radio station. This is just a quick um, reminder of this evening show we're having on Blab. I'm having with my host, Kendra Garcia. Hey. Kendra Garcia is, oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> this is Cheryl Howard. I'm an empowerment and inspirational life coach. I don't know why I forget to introduce myself sometime. Houston in the house. Oh, awesome. I'm actually from New York, but I just moved down to Richmond like about a year and a half ago. Still trying to adjust. <laughs> I miss home though, but I'm adjusting. Um, so yeah, I do inspirational life coach. I see your life coach too. Um, biblical base. Hi, Naja. Thanks for joining in. And so I just want to do this real quick introductory invite. I'm having a blab tonight, and my guest is Kendra Garcia. She's an occupational therapist, and in my other job, I do intensive in-home therapy with children and families, and I also do counseling with adults who have psychiatric diagnosis as well. And one of the reasons why I wanted to do a collaboration, a collateral type of broadcast is because often I work with other support um, other members of a support team you know concerning my clients issues for example if I have a client and they have a diagnosis of especially a child of maybe um, ADHD or processing processory sensory just process sensory disorder you know issues with the sensory a lot of times, of course, I'm working along with a psychiatrist. We, I'm consulting. They're consulting me. We just kind of collaborate on the best interventions to use concerning our clients' issues. And so my focus tonight will really be on... Hi, Anthony. Thanks for joining in. My focus tonight, because I have, you know, we always put a lot of attention, of course, on the child who has the issues or children or teen who have these issues or diagnoses like autism, ADHD, or... Um, sensory disorders however hi thanks for joining in however my heart goes out to the parents as well because it's so much that parents have to go through and it's like they feel like they have to be superman they're trying to take care of their kids but in the meantime you know they need to take care of their own health emotionally psychologically mentally and i really want to do a special broadcast that caters to parents who have children who are diagnosed with these um, issues that I mentioned and more it could be other disabilities however a parent hi thanks for joining in a parent can become overwhelmed and they need their own support system you know like I said I'm part of a team that helps children with their special needs but then parents need their own support so of course in my profession a lot of times I'm counseling and I'm helping children with cognitive and behavioral issues and trauma issues but you know also some, I gotta pull in the parents and a lot of times what's supposed to be a family session sometimes becomes a parent session or parent coaching because I'm my heart goes out to the parents like just giving them different interventions and things that they can use to help themselves not to become so overwhelmed or, or what to do when they are feeling overwhelmed or when they feel so stressed or when they feel like giving up you know those inside voices that they may not share with other people around them because other people may not understand the tremendous stress that they go through. You know, parenting children who have special needs is, you know, it's like you're a caregiver for a long time and it's not an easy, and it may be throughout the whole lifetime. It's not an easy job. And I just really feel like parents just really need to be supported on so many ways. Uh, and just, we're just going to be discussing a lot. So I, I invited Kendra Garcia because um, I met her in one of my other groups. And she is an occupational therapist. And I said, wow, I would like to hear your story because she also has a child who has, um, he has special needs. I'm trying to remember if he had maybe autism. I'm not sure. She'll correct me tonight at 8 o'clock. But um, she, she's been on both sides. She's actually became an occupational therapist. But she has a child who also has um, certain, you know, a diagnosis, has special needs. So she'll be able to give both 
a parent perspective and a professional perspective, being that she worked with this population. This is her main population as well. And because I do consult with occupational therapists and uh, we'll co co collaborate together and just discuss on what we are both doing with a particular client so we can be on one accord and help that child, you know, reach a certain milestone, achieve certain goals, and just really form that support. But tonight is really about the parents. It's really about the parents tonight, their emotional health as well, what they can do, stealing time, having a time out for themselves, you know, and so much more. Just to keep them, keep their sanity. <laughs> you know, talking about how sometimes a parent may feel embarrassed when they out. I mean, real stuff that you don't get to really talk about when they out in public and say that child is acting up and people around them don't understand. They just think that child is just bad. What is wrong with that parent? They don't got no control. Not understanding the child may have special needs. So you can't address that child exactly the way you do with a child who does not, does not have that particular or have any diagnosis. And so is not everything is not arrested and and you know arresting the child and sitting the child down and spanking the child and and all those things that a lot of other parents do these children have special needs and because of that that comes that brings on a whole another set of feelings for a parent feeling embarrassed feeling stressed out worrying about what people are saying about them as a parent and about their child it's just so much that come with that and I really want to be informational. I want to be inspiring as well. So tune in tonight if you can on Blab, blab.im. My handle on Blab is get at get your life B-A-K. Because somebody already had get your life back with the B-A-C-K. So it's at get your life B-A-K, get your life back on Blab. And Kendra Garcia is, I believe, is at... OT underscore support specialist. But anyway, she'll be on with me. And so we're just really going to get into the meat of that. And I'm just excited about that as well. 8 p.m. tonight on Blab. You can go and subscribe to the Blab. And that way you'll also get a reminder of when we actually go live. And I'm also going to save the recording as well. And, and package it with a couple of other videos as a free um, resource for parents as well and, and um, Kendra most likely would do the same thing but it's going to be very very good and informative and just laid back at the same time and I'm also want to hear Kendra's testimony about like I said from a parent's perspective and and then also from a professional perspective and then also give you guys or parents that you know who need this information some keys some good vital information that they can use to support them and to help them like I said in their own health their own health overall health holistically while they're caring for their child for their children as well so anyway thanks for tuning in guys have a wonderful weekend weekends go so fast so we just got like seize the moment still the moment whatever you can do to help yourself feel good in the midst of all the hustle the bustle or going through whatever trials and tribulations just finding that moment of peace everybody needs a mental health break Mental professionals take a health break. They may take it may be a weekend, it may be a week, it may be a day. There's some jobs sometimes who give mental health day breaks so you can gather your thoughts, so you can think, so you can also do what you need to do, so you can be better for somebody else. You have to take care of yourself as well. And so this is something that we practice every day. I don't got it a hundred percent, but it's something that I practice working at every day. Okay? So anyway, have a good Saturday and hopefully I'll see you guys tonight. Take care.